Hey guys, welcome back to Spend a Video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a thumbnail for FIFA 22. I'll show you step by step, so I'm going to go ahead and do file and new. From the start, it's pretty important. Um, 920 by 1080 pixels is what every thumbnail and video is nowadays, at least on YouTube. Uh, so that's really important. Resolution is 300. I would definitely advise you to do it at least 300. And then also as well, be sure that uh, the color mode is on RGB. You can do something else, but I think RGB is the best color mode. So anyway, and the background, I just do it in white. As you can see, we only have the background here. I'm actually going to put the first image, which is going to be, uh, I have them prepared here. Actually, this stadium. Let's see. I do like 16 and a half, maybe a little bit less. Because we don't need to do it too much, it will take off the quality a bit. So let's do 16.20, that's uh, enough actually. Click OK. So of course there's still things missing. Um, I'm actually going to make this one black and white. And I'll do something else that's pretty important. So for this one that's the actual layer is selected. You want to go up to filter and then do camera raw filter. Alright, once we're here, uh, change some things. So it's always nice to play with the clarity. As you can see here, I'm changing pretty basic stuff. The whites, I think it can go like minus 30. This really depends on your image. Most images are just different and uh, it will actually just depend. So I'm just going to go with this right here. For me, it's good. Um, it's just for the background anyway. Maybe a bit uh, more contrast. It's really, as I said, depends on the image. Um, so just play around to see what's best uh, in your case. I'm just going to click OK here. Once again, this is the um, is the background, so it's not that important, uh, but it definitely plays a role. I'm just gonna zoom out here, actually. I'm gonna do something pretty simple. I'm actually gonna add a um, well on a brighter blue. Okay, so I'm gonna do pre something pretty bright for the background here. Um, I'm just gonna do multiply. Pretty simple thing. It just goes over the background. I am gonna add some some extra brightness, I would say, and also some of the uh, Contrast, just some extras, you know, that looks a little bit better. I'm gonna zoom out once more. Here, I'm actually gonna use the brush tool. So, I'm gonna make a new layer down here at the right. There we go. And I'm actually gonna do, let's say, in the corners. It doesn't have to be that exact, but um, it's nice that you kinda have the same thing going on in every corner in this case. So I just think I'm gonna do something like this. Something like that. I think it's good. Not too much. I don't want it to be too much. Okay. I'm actually going to add the second image. It's going to be Mbappé. So it depends how you say it. Mbappé. Mbappé. I'm going to click him here, right here. He's actually on the cover for the FIFA 22 uh, video game, of course. So um, I thought, yeah, why not also use Mbappé? Uh, he deserves the credit. I think it was a good idea to put him on the cover as well. You know, stays a good player. I like this image, uh, by the way, too. It's a PNG, so transparent image. By the way, up here, make sure... Uh, this is something I like to tell in a lot of videos because it's important. Be make sure that these two, are of, well, that this one is selected on uh, maintain aspect ratio, which is really important because it literally does what it says. Because otherwise it will mess with the image. You can uh, add it freely, and that's not that's not what you want because you don't you don't want to make them too flat or anything like that. So be sure that this is always selected. It's really important in the small details. So I'm thinking, also looking this from a distance. Um, I'm thinking put them in somewhere here. It should be good. Okay, we we don't want him too much in the background either because it's pretty. He needs to stand forward a bit because it's yeah, it stays important. He's an important part of the thumbnail. I think that's good. I like that actually. I'm just gonna click OK. I'm gonna go with this. Actually, first of all, so be sure once again that the select that the image is selected. I'm actually gonna do the same thing with the background. I'm gonna do camera raw filter. As you can see, it doesn't take the whole image. It only takes um, the PNG version of uh, Mbappe here. If you do the exposure first or the clarity, it kind of goes hand in hand. So it's important that you see which one. And where so this is really once again as you can see this is totally different as the uh, wallpaper that we did uh, earlier as you can see so there's a lot actually going on really okay too too bright so not too much of the highlights and the exposure I don't really touch it that much actually the exposure I think I like this I think I'm gonna go with this yeah it really accentuates how the Im image looks I really like it actually gonna make it black and white as well you will see later um, how I'm actually gonna add some color so actually purple more of a purplish dark blue okay now actually we're gonna do something important as well we're gonna do it's the only effect we're gonna put on the player so actually gonna do a drop shadow I'm gonna put this around 40 put it aside and as you can see so as you can see i'm gonna show you a bit the importance of the shadows in these cases but also in a lot of other cases and if you're doing uh, a design in general uh, is that depth and shadows are very important. As you can see, this really adds some depth to the image. You really, It really jumps out now. And I can't uh, stress enough how important that is. I think the size was a bit too much. Because it's it's nice, but it, the, yeah, the shadow is a bit too much. I think 90 looks pretty nice. Um, maybe go with 
80 or 70. I'm quite a bit hesitating between 70 because 70 has this nice de uh, in depth shadows. And the 90, they're more. If I'm on 90 points, it's more discreet, but it definitely works as well. But it's always, <laughs> these moments, it's always pretty hard. I'm just gonna think about this. I think I'm just gonna go with 80, the safe route. I'm gonna go in the middle. I'm also gonna do something that's, I'm just gonna zoom out here easily like that. I'm gonna use the paint brush tool again, and this time actually uh, for Mbappe. So I'm gonna go next to the left and the right of him. It doesn't need to be too much, I'm gonna see what I do. Think like that, to the side and next to his body, same here. There you go. Uh, now I'm gonna do something that makes it better because now it looks a little bit, uh, yeah, meh, not really good. So actually gonna do here is if you go to, uh, if you select on the layer that I just did, so with the brush, you go to normal and you actually put it on linear dodge and also says add. Uh, so just click on that. As you can see, it really blends together the effect with uh, with the image. And that really goes to see that um, in this case it works really well. You can also see it from distance. Um, this is a little bit far away right now, but it definitely works. So I'm just going to zoom in again. So the thumbnail really starts to take form here. I'm actually just going to upload the logo. All right, right here we have it. Um, so I think I'm just going to remove the EA Sports and the FIFA Official Licensed Product thingy um, to make it better. So to actually remove it, I'm going to go to the logo. So once again, be sure that the layer is selected. You right click on it, rasterize layer. This is very important because it in a way will allow you to uh, to actually make these changes. So click on it and now I can actually do backspace and remove it. Otherwise it will probably not have allowed me to. Okay, I'm going to do the same for the, the circle logo. Uh, unfortunately, it's not transparent. Otherwise I may, may have uh, kept it, but... Um, I can't really uh, color overlay this because it will just become a circle. Backspace and it's gone. Deselect or just do Ctrl D. As you can see, that doesn't really look that good. Uh, this black color. So I'm just going to simply do a color overlay of white. There you go. As you can see, looks already way better. My go with 90. I will see a bit the change. I will see the size a little bit later. But for now, let's do this because I'm going to add the text. The actual text that says a thumbnail tutorial, which is pretty important. Okay, so the font I'm going here with is uh, TW uh, CNNT Condensed Extra Bold. Pretty long. Um, because it's a nice, abstract, basic font that uh, we will need to FIFA. Nail. Gonna make that white. And then tutorial. All right, and I already had also a good idea to, um, we can do this later on, but I will actually put Mbappe over the text so that his arm goes over his text. I'll show you how that looks because it looks really nice. But as you can see, it really looks nice. Once again, we're going over the depths of uh, images. And uh, now, for now, of course, it's still yeah, a, a scratch, but as you can see, the way his arm overlays together with the shadow creates this creates this really nice effect and uh, just goes over the font. So I'm going to do that later, but I'm first, of course, going to change the text thumbnail tutorial because now it's very basic. So what I also like to do is make the upper one a little bit bigger and the uh, underneath a little bit smaller. Okay, so I don't remember which one was above. I think it was like 70, but then this one is 55. Maybe actually do 50. Probably going to convert this to a smart object right here, as you can see. Just gonna do that so it becomes actually one object together so you can just make the yeah blend them together so i'm gonna add the effects uh, on them so inner glow always really adds something uh, nice to it so i think i want to go with 12 i think so you don't really see it right now you'll see it afterwards so it actually needs to be a pretty light blue together with a more darker bluish purplish i think because now it will do the gradient overlay of both of them I actually like that. It's really felt better than I thought. I actually hesitate here if we're gonna do something more like this or in reverse. That's really, it's a hard part. Reverse looks really nice, honestly. I think I'm gonna go with that. But the text is definitely more important than people might think sometimes. We're actually also gonna go with a outer glow for this one. Uh, that depends. This is like an outer glow which has no spread at all. Spread gives it more, yeah, of course you can go too much with this. So I'm actually gonna go for something like this. Probably seen it before. Maybe 30 is enough actually. I'm really gonna do the outer glow black and then do the inverse and do the drop shadow actually on white. 
So that I have this nice contour here that you can see right here. I really like that, so I'm just gonna go with that. Then it's also the question how much, yeah, what size does the contour needs to be. I think this is good. I kind of don't want to touch it anymore, not sure. So yeah, I actually just put it on, yeah, I actually leave it like this. I'm gonna click OK. Okay, we're actually going near the end here, but it's still some important things that need to be done. For example here, if I click on it, I actually do right click, perspective. So as you can see, it's perspective, it's gonna change how it looks. So as you can see, now it looks more from above. As you can see, it's more towards the side. So as you can see, go a lot of ways with this, but it's pretty important that we do this in a nice way because you screw it up easily as well. I think I'm first gonna do warp. So this, as you can see, I think you already have an idea how this goes. Um, so you really want to make sure that it's on the same size as it does. The warp can easily change the size of the image. Okay, I think I'm going to go with this. Looks pretty nice. And I'm going to add the uh, perspective as well. I guess this really works if I put it on this side because it's, it gives the depth of like... That it looks like it's on the side. I guess which gives that nice from the side effect. Um, that looks like it's from the side. So we should just place it right here. We also need to re keep in mind that we want a little bit his hand to overpass the font. So to uh, the actual uh, thumbnail tutorial text. So I'm guessing this is pretty nice. I have the idea but now I need to place it well. You know what, let's keep it like this. Um, let's click OK. But by this one, we're actually going to purely do a perspective so that it kind of goes along with the image. Let's see here. This, yeah, that's, this is more what I wanted. Uh, I'm going to do somewhat of a warp on the text. Give okay, me something like this and then just change. It's a bit like this cheating a little bit okay so i'm gonna go with this actually i like it i really like as you can see from a distance this is really the idea i'm actually gonna add something extra here as you can see this flare here this image of a flare will really add that extra uh light effect to it i know this probably can be done easier but i'm just gonna do it like this to make it a little bit brighter but that's not really that important so be sure to do great uh, clipping mask by the way if you only want to affect one image there you go, just a bit of the brightness, that's all. Okay, so I had to adjust the size a bit and uh, put it more in the middle um, so that this arm could overlay. It's not perfect, it's not that good, but um, it kind of works, you can see from a distance. And so one I wanted to say for the last touch is that I'm going to add a filter. So I have a couple of ones here. These filters I actually got from a GFX pack. So um, if you want to get one as well, uh, just type in GFX pack, for example, on YouTube and just download another Photoshop file. So it needs to be a PSD, a Photoshop file, and you have to see there are filters in it. Not all of them, but they have some filters that I will show you right now. So just be sure to check out the GFX uh, pack if you, uh, you want these filters. So first, I got the red one here. Obviously, this one is not going to work well. Now, this is the orange one. As you can see, it's not bad, it might be a bit too bright. This one is a no. Green, I like this one. This one falls uh, pretty well. As you can see, you can have an idea on how the filters are. I'm not going to show you all of them, I'm just going to watch which one goes best with it. Okay, I think I went with the green one here. Um, so that was the final touch, as you can see, this is the thumbnail. Um, so I'm clicking, going to show you with and without the uh, uh, filter. As you can see here, this looks pretty nice, but it still needs to, uh, but it still looks pretty a little bit flat. So adding this last uh, filter, as you can see, it really adds that last touch, you know, that cherry on the pie. It really is that last adjustment that really does it. Um, so there you go, here you go. This is an, uh, an idea on how to, you could make a thumbnail on FIFA 22. So of course, I hope this video helped you. I hope it gets you some ideas, inspires you to make a thumbnail yourself. So if you, of course, have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. I'll answer them and uh, also yeah leave a like would be really nice subscribe would also be really nice and I hope to see you guys in my next video bye